All right, it's that time once again for another Windergrass offense. April the 1st, 2024. April Fool's Day here. We're going to head into the sunken ring. Looks like both teams were down about 10 players. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Kind of waiting for everyone to group up and get here. That's one bad thing about using a glider right out of the gate to get to the sunken ring faster is because... Then you get there a little bit earlier than the rest of your team, and you don't want to jump down there and just be easy pickings for your team. Granted, I am on my Bud DK, but still, as a Bud DK, everyone knows you got to get some ramp up and build up before you can keep yourself alive for sure. If you don't have any runic power, you can't death strike. Without death strike, you really can't heal yourself a whole lot, if at all. I mean, you got what, rune tap that does some kind of healing or shielding? You can do a couple other cooldowns to be immune from magical damage. But other than that, you can drop another 20% for another defensive. And Icebound Fortitude prevents you from getting stunned. But in any case, you still have a rough time. <laughs> We're pushing into him now, though. We are starting to get some kills here. I'm trying to do everything I can to stay alive. Popping every cooldown. I'm in Purgatory right now. Broke through the shield. It is still alive. Popped Vampiric Blood. Need to get some Death Strike, though, for the Vampiric Blood to make full effect. Getting a couple hits here and there. I'm almost full health now. We have vehicles coming out. They're starting to get barbecued. Lions had, what, six healers in this one and one tank. We got most of them down. Rank 2 is already here. We're going to go to the south gate and let's take it out. They had a couple cannons up front. We got them down. They have a warrior down here. There are healers up there. We got a rogue that's popped evasion on the ground. Make sure the rest of those tower cannons are down for the south gate strategy to work. All the cannons have to be down because they do a lot of damage because all your vehicles are pretty much stacked right here. You also don't want anybody up top just spamming down AOE on top of your vehicles too. They got a couple healers off to the side here. At least the healers don't do a ton of damage with AOE, I guess. South gate's almost down. We got two more cannons to take out in here. There's also a couple cannons that can actually shoot in here and like shoot over the walls too. So sometimes you might need some people outside the base taking out those cannons as well. It really just depends on who knows what cannons can hit where, you know. They're doing a lot of damage right here right now. Shoot, lots of our vehicles are going to go down, man. We got to deal with a healer here. Finish off the Monk. Monk's down. DK next. Finish off Corona. Wish it was that easy to take out the other kind. In any case, we're pushing into the courtyard now. Trying to pull a few of them through the open doorway here and just finish them off. Going to go back over here because we had some action at BT. We don't want to lose any workshops. We want to keep all of our vehicle slots. 16 vehicles. Granted, we only have two up right now. <laughs> We definitely got to get more people starting to build. We have a ton of people that are at SR, and we're starting to take down the inner south wall a little better. They have a lot of people that are still grouped up here, but this is a huge push right now. Take them out. Spam that AoE damage. Let's get onto the walls here. We got a healer. Ocean's about to go down. Yeah, the south wall is starting to get some massive pressure put onto it right now. We have more vehicles coming in from SR. We don't have anybody guarding bt or west spark one person is guarding east spark we are inside the inner south wall now though and we're starting to put some damage up on the main entrance usually once you get to the main entrance it's pretty much over with especially if you got any kind of time left on the clock whatsoever they have taken my vehicle out so now i can start pulling them in with grippy hands a bomb limb gripping in the monk monk's gonna go ahead and roll away finish off the rogue rogue gets hit from behind where you can't dodge or parry we got a couple more off to the side gripping in the mage now we got a hunter courtyard's pretty much clear main entrance is history and click on the orb boom lights out looks like the hunters reign supreme in killing blows top heals was some more cheese cutter and top damage was how do I play? May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.